Hello there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today is the first official day of December, not quite about 10 minutes left, but already approaching midnight. So uh, wishing you happy December, I guess. So this is gonna be the last month of the year and winter is here. Uh, despite all your, uh, you know, hardship in life, you know, try to look at better things, I guess, and uh, try to stay safe from the latest variant of COVID. Uh, you guys know that that's up. So stay safe, follow the regulations, stuff like that. Hopefully you'll be okay and uh, stay safe. So I have three fragrances for you today and these are uh, all not my bottles. I have finished reviewing the fragrance that I bought it the last month and uh, I will do one special episode uh, in uh, December end if everything remains okay. I will show you the top 20 or 15 fragrances that I bought this year, both design and niche. And that will be the list like the best purchase of the year 2021. Uh, so let's see what you get today. First fragrance you're gonna have from House of Zerjov, as you can tell from the title, it's gonna be 40 knots, okay? And this is a big boy bottle, 100 ml bottle, but this is a test edition. Uh, these are uh, expensive, okay? This line is expensive, this particular coloration of the bottles. You'll see many, more than words, uh, Dawn, many other bottles, I think they have this kind of coloration. So I'll let you know my thoughts. Uh, someone in my group, is it Samantha? Uh, I don't remember. But someone said this is a lot of people said this is their favorite fragrance some people had mixed opinion but on most part they say there's not many reviews on that one so it's my pleasure big thanks to dr jeffrey for providing me with the bottle okay so i'm not showing you the box because it's a tester box just a plain white box nothing to show this fragrance i believe have uh, bottle sizes 50 100 i could be wrong correct uh, those experts on zerjov please correct me if i'm wrong and let others know and uh, this fragrance i already used uh, tested few days on my skin paper everywhere on the shirt uh, so i have kind of good idea on this fragrance but still uh, it's not a very comprehensive review as in like i do not own it so when you don't have years of experience you cannot tell a full story but whatever the wearings gave me i'll let you know so i have it on my hand here pre-sprayed for testing i have three fragrances one here one here and one there uh, i'll reveal as i go uh, so the thing is the bottle is very beautiful these fragrances are expensive 300 dollars plus i believe uh, if you buy retail uh, these are some of the most beautiful bottles i bought naxos last month azerjov uh, you know mefiesto line they have a lot of lines okay shooting star line fresh ones rose based ones wood ones alexandria line i have an alexandria coming up soon so this is the name uh, it's called 40 nights uh, 40 not sorry what nights jtc just no oh man jtc is like what i forgot man i'm so sorry you know like uh, it's it's my bad but it's that line you know uh 40 knots yeah it doesn't sound professional anyway so the cap it's, it's, uh, you are lucky to have a cap with the tester it's very heavy golden and all metal it's a zerjov and the base i'll think you have a sticker so i'm more interested in the perfume itself the, but the presentation is just stunning when you buy luxurious fragrances presentations do matter that's what is part of the cost the cap uh this one really really is good quality cap because it clicks onto place you can pick it up even this very heavy bottle look at the base of the glass even the surroundings these are quality you know this is what i consider quality metal plate be very nice golden metal plate uh, these are premium touches so when you pay good money you expect good quality which zerjov gives you uh, so let's try and even then they have if you're scared for fake they'll have x on the atomizer let's show you the spray okay let's just go to this is one of my hands down of the most beautiful fragrances i smell this year okay uh, niche or designer combined uh, when Dr. Jeffrey uh, came to see me and he gave me this one, he gave me actually four fragrances and out of the four, I'm reviewing two, okay, you'll see the next one. But when he gave me, when I sprayed this, every single fragrance he gave me, this time around, they're all win. Sometimes I, I always am frank with him. I tell him if I don't like something, if I don't feel something so special or uh, overhyped, like Dior Savage Elixir was his bottle and I told him he was not upset. He was uh, maybe a little bit uh, disappointed, but he was not upset because... You know honest is the most important thing i absolutely loved it okay and i'll let you know my thoughts and i'll tell you some other members thoughts first thing some people told me like brother rahul sharma told me this one has an aquatic vibe okay and someone said <clears throat> some of my group members they said this is not their favorite they found it similar to ambernui 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 by the previous line of dior I, I i did not try it i think i don't have that perhaps but that's uh, supposedly on the best amber based perfumes uh, then someone said uh, this is so underrated nobody talks about it one member said there's not many reviews on it 
So I did like sort of like comical post. I was like, ah, you know, I did that because I was really impressed by it. Okay. So here's my story. First of all, performance. When people look at it, they say this is beastly performer. I agree. This is super fantastic longevity. Okay. Uh, it makes me smile. It's always an additional bonus point of any fragrance. Uh, <clears throat> if you are paying a lot of money, you get a nice presentation, and already good like longevity and projection it's already a good deal okay already many people's books longevity is a first priority so it does hang on for a very long time when to wear it some people say this has an aquatic fresh vibe i see the freshness but not from the aquatic side i don't get i first have thought at first i thought when i smelled it it's so different i never smell anything like it and that's perhaps because the opening is really unique those who actually did try it they are family with embry Nui. They are, I think, the minority of the groups because with all due respect, not everybody is rich. Not everybody can afford to try Dior's Prevail lines, their job. So majority of people, they use designers. So for them, this is going to be totally new experience. If you are in the market looking for something unique, this I think will, pretty, will be pretty damn unique. Okay. Um, so the thing is that aquatic freshness, I don't get it. Like something blue, I don't detect anything blue in this apart from the bottle. But I tell you what. And the opening, I couldn't tell what I was smelling. Perhaps it was the rose. I don't know. I didn't look at the nose breakdown. I'll tell you what I get. It has this amber, definite amber freshness. It's a fresh amber. And then you get kind of like a fresh breeze vibe. Think of starry nights, you know, summertime, starry nights, nice little uh, breeze at the beach. By the night you walk by the beach, really nice. Uh, like you can see the shore, you can see the moon shining on the you know the waves and stuff like that you just sitting there and you smelling this this is perfect uh, atmosphere to wear it where you wear creeds irolfa creeds viking and ldm by tower perfumes yeah this is very close to that one that's what i found on dry down this if you love ldm by tower perfumes this is a better value than that because that fragrance i don't think it's 100 ml uh, tower perfumes are much smaller bottles almost similar pricing if you buy this as a tester this is a better value. You get 100 ml. 100 ml will serve you a long time. You need three sprays. That's it. It's very mysterious. It projects a lot. It has like all the properties Zerjov usually have with the performance. No issue, no lacking. Really nice. So it's a semi-fresh. What I get from this is that amber plays so beautifully. If you love woody amber, you know, like think of like a log, like how I described LDDM, Low Desert de Moroccan, or even the other one, the Couture, a Couture, <laughs> the other one. Uh, they have like this feel of a big wooden log like a tree trunk and it's like in the beach sandy beach it's like stuck in there and then a lot of this moisture was captured in that wooden log uh, you get the salty amber woody nice little uh, kind of like a wet wood smell this is what I get from this as well so that's the star of the player I don't know if there's rose in there but I definitely pick up like a very sexy kind of like amber not much of spicy thing going on which makes it wearable very easy to wear but uh, it offers little sweetness if you like sweet fragrances this is not going to be your cup of tea it's very unique so you really have to try get a sample go try at a shop i think you perhaps you like it if you are into niche fragrances already what do i mean by niche something weird something different something unique uh, this will definitely be unique doesn't smell like 10 other fragrances out there okay so overall uniqueness 10 presentation 10 pricing uh, zerd job pricing i cannot talk about it because they're expensive they are by killians them uh, <laughs> mfk you know but i think this is a really nice fragrance but zerd job i tell you one thing mine one thing i tried many zerd job i did not like you know i'm not like every single zerd job is good try out my other reviews like casamorati line or some other lines some of them i gave them okay mark you know some of them are not that good this is definitely one of the best okay so definitely it has good uh, respect in the community for good reasons but very niche style okay you may not get a compliment from this okay i'm telling you you wear this kind of fragrance for yourself okay special occasion night time uh, if you have nice dinner party you know like mild cold weather even in winters summer nights all year wearable uh, and the thing is it will hang on and project very nice which makes it a perfect strong fragrance which can be loved by many people but try before you buy Okay, and I think this is very unisex style done, but sexy. I definitely would like to review Dior's uh, Ambre Nui. I think that's going to be beautiful too, but uh, that's also pricey. I'm not going to buy it. If someone lend me, I'll review. So overall, 40 knots. How much do I give it? Yeah, <laughs> I cannot give it anything less. I love the beauty of this perfume. 10 out of 10. Try out this fragrance. 
uh, and then let me know uh, if you tried it what's your sentiment on it okay uh, if it's if you ask me about let's say a little bit criticism this is not for everybody you know like people who are looking for mainstream blue fragrances something like in line of aventus no but if you like creeds himalaya if you like creeds uh, silver mountain water millis imperial uh, if you like uh, that one i mentioned the uh, uh, man nowadays i forgot a lot of things you know uh, what's the other one wait irolfa creeds irolfa and then specially LDDM by uh, Tower Perfumes, try it out, okay? Uh, this is a fragrance I really feel is very well built. Thanks for watching. Time to move on to the second review. Take care. Bye-bye.